Hey, welcome YouTube. I am Aniket, and you are watching Web Study. So, in today's video, we will discuss about the fairings. So, before starting, I suggest you that you can follow me on Instagram. On my Instagram account, I upload mini vlog, daily mini vlog, so you can follow me. So, let's start the fairings. So, what is fairings? Fairings is a, a funnel shape space. It is nothing but a funnel shape space. It is funnel shape space and uh, at the base it is present at the base of the cranial cavity and behind the posterior nasal aperture so uh, as you can see this is the uh, cranial cavity and in the cranial cavity uh, the brain is present so it is present uh, below the cranial cavity this pharynx is present okay this is the actual uh, image of the uh, dog right so its wall are formed by three three structures its wall are formed by three structures and these are muscles fibers and mucous membrane so they will combinedly form the wall of the pharynx and this tube this pharynx this tube is mainly the common passage for the digestive and the respiratory passage which we all know and uh, this thing comes under our curriculum from the very basic you know 10th or the 8th class right so we all know that it is the common passage for digestive and respiratory tract and uh, if we talk about the attachment of the pharynx then it is attached to four bones this you can remember right so i will write here four bones the first one is the temporal uh, you can remember this that it is attached to uh, these different kind of uh, bones or you can say this space is formed by these six kind of bones right the first one is the temporal the second is the pterygoid the fourth one is the sorry the third one is the palatine and the fourth one is the vomer fifth one is the sphenoid and uh, sixth one is the occipital so uh, it is attached to these bones right pharynx is related uh, dorsally laterally and ventrally to some structure it means what do we we mean by this that suppose that this is the space this is the uh, empty space so uh, it is attached or it is related to something to some structure dorsally this is the dorsal part so it is attached or related to something over here dorsally it is also attached or related to something laterally so this is the lateral structure right and it is also attached or related to something ventrally so this is the dorsal portion these are the lateral portion and this is the ventral portion and this is the pharynx empty space okay so if we talk about dorsally then as we can see that dorsally cranial cavity cranial uh, cavity is present and apart from cranial cavity supra pharyngeal pharyngeal lymph nodes are present so dorsally two structures are present uh, cranial cavity and supra pharyngeal lymph node and if we talk about laterally then laterally many structures are present such as pterygoid muscle hyoid bone hyoid bone next is the uh, mandibular salivary gland as you all know that mandibular salivary gland is present laterally okay and uh, external carotid artery artery so these all structures are important and you should remember this that they are present uh, laterally to the pharynx right external carotid artery next is external external maxillary artery maxillary artery right apart from this ninth and twelfth nerves cranial nerves right and pharyngeal lymph nodes pharyngeal lymph node so all these structure are present laterally and if we talk about ventrally so ventrally it is related to the root of tongue and larynx so if this question comes in your exam 
that uh, what are the relations or what structures are present dorsally, laterally and ventrally to the pharynx. So you can write here dorsally cranial cavity, suprapharyngeal lymph node, laterally pterygoid muscle, hyoid bone and mandibular salivary gland, uh, external carotid artery, external maxillary artery, 9th and 12th nerve and pharyngeal lymph node and ventrally root of the tongue and larynx. So apart from this, uh, one major important question which can be asked from you is that seven openings, the, the, the cavity of pharynx communicate with other structure by seven openings and these seven openings are very important and can be asked. Okay. So in seven, let us break, two openings are for eustachian tubes. Okay. Two openings are for eustachian tube, two openings are for posterior nares, one opening is for esophagus phagus, and one opening is for mouth. Okay, and the last one opening is for larynx. So as we all know that this is the common structure for uh, the respiratory and digestive tract. So that is why esophagus and larynx, right? So uh, these are seven openings, two opening for eustachian tube, two opening for posterior nerve, one opening for esophagus, one opening for mouth and one opening for larynx. You can remember these openings because this question can be asked. Now we have different muscles which basically uh, form the larynx or which present around the uh, sorry which present around the pharynx not larynx right so these muscles are seven in number mainly seven in number and uh, these are the first is the palato pharyngeus you can remember these names uh, i know that these names are slightly tough but i can uh, you know tell you the trick how you can learn them Next is thyropharyngeus, third one is hyopharyngeus, fourth one is sarcopharyngeus, fifth one is artenopharyngeus, sixth one is pterygopharyngeus, uh, and seventh one is stylopharyngeus. So these are seven muscles. Palato, thyro, hyo, sarco, artino, terego, uh, terego, and stylo. Okay, so these are uh, pharyngeal muscle. So uh, you can learn these muscles like uh, the muscle which connect the uh, palate, soft palate or hard palate to the pharynx. That is palatopharyngeus. Or that connect the hyoid bone to the pharynx, hyopharyngeus, like that. Right. So three muscles are mainly responsible for sending the food bolus from pharynx to esophagus by their successive contraction and these three muscles are anterior constrictor and the other name for anterior constrictor is pterygo pharyngeus okay uh, so the other name is pterygo pharyngeus for the anterior constrictor next is the middle constrictor and the other name for middle constrictor is the hypopharyngeus, right? And the third one is the posterior constrictor. And the other name for this is thyropharyngeus, right? So these are three muscles which are responsible for the uh, sending the food bolus from pharynx to the esophagus, right? Now we have the dorsal part of the pharynx above soft palate, as you can see. <coughs> the dorsal part above the pharynx the dorsal part above the pharynx okay so it is not mentioned here uh, the dorsal part above the pharynx is known as the nasopharynx it is not mentioned here right so the dorsal part above pharynx is nasopharynx right and the posterior nares the other name for posterior posterior nares is cone right this term is important the other name for posterior nares is cone this is mentioned right and uh, uh, the part of pharynx between the soft palate and the root of the tongue is known as the oropharynx 
so the part between the soft palate and uh, the root of tongue root of tongue it is called as the oro pharynx next we have the portion that is dorsal and lateral to the larynx is known as the laryngopharynx if you look at this this is the larynx and the portion which is present dorsally and laterally okay uh, to the larynx is called as the laryngo laryngo pharynx i think it is clear to you now now uh, there are different muscles which we already talk about let's show you the image so this is the stylo hyoid bone and the muscle attached to this is the uh, stylo pharyngeus muscle stylo pharyngeus muscle which attaches the stylo styloid bone to the pharynx right this is the hyopharyngeus muscle this muscle is the hyopharyngeus muscle this is the sarcopharyngeus muscle which we already discussed right and uh, this is the thyropharyngeus muscle this muscle is the thyropharyngeus muscle this is digastricus muscle which is not related to the pharynx and uh, this is thyrohyoid muscle this is the sternohyoid muscle this is the hyoglossus muscle and this is the uh, stylohyoid muscle so these are different muscles you can see here and uh, i think uh, yeah this is the trachea okay so now you can correlate it with other structure now let's talk about the blood supply so blood supply so three arteries uh, provide blood to the pharynx the first is the carotid the second is the occipital and the third one is the external maxillary artery right so these three artery provide blood to the pharynx next one is the nerve nerve supply so in nerve supply we have ninth and tenth cranial nerve and from superior cervical ganglion some nerve fiber comes so from superior cervical ganglion some nerve fiber comes which you know uh, give uh, access 